2000 oil. How many spirits are in this house? Can you tell me how many spirits are here? I don't know. I couldn't make it. I don't know if it's a lot of them. Hmm? I don't think so. Did you get the only spirit in here right now? It's taking a lot of energy to speak and use the energy from the flashlight to use my energy. Let's turn it down. Okay. Yeah, drain it. Go ahead. Drain it. They sure do have energy out of the bag. The new bag is the wrong hood. It's coming in. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh. We'll be down there in a minute. Come on, come on up. Did you hear that? Hmm. They said it's, it's somebody coming up. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that was Gary. He's not coming all the way up. He's way up. You want us to leave you alone for right now? Maybe. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and we won't let you use all your energy because we may want to speak to you again here in a little bit. Thank you. It'd be interesting if they had like some kind of, if you could research it, you know, if there was anybody that used to come here often or lived that, that smoke popped up. I mean, I'm sure that a lot of people did back oh, in those yes. days. I just wonder if they liked cherry, if they had an app flicker. You like cherry? You ever tried apple? Apple's pretty good. There's that smell again. There you go. Be real with me, kids. Why don't you flip your real with me? I'm going to turn this little device on we've got here. If you want to talk to us, we'll. Do you like us being in here? Make the flashlight flicker for no. Do you like us being in this room? There you go. Do you want, this time, make it flicker if you want us to leave this room and go to, and we'll leave you alone. Make it flash real big. Try real hard. Mm-hmm.
Okay, we'll give you that. Might just be really weak. Well, we'll leave this room then and move on to another. That's weird. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, you see this thing that I got right here on the table? <coughs> you want to, you can mess with it, play around with it, make that light flash on and off for me. There you go. Looks like everything's. 64 to 65 degrees down here. The table My bear just went. 66. It's been. It's flashing now. All right. Don't be messing with the camera if you don't mind. Play with the flashlight. Please, you better more specific. Because I don't have much more battery left. You can pull the energy from that flashlight all you want and take every bit of it. This digital recorder still going right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> this is Matt, Nick, and Larry, and we are down in the basement. Is there anybody down here with us. Can you tell us your name? All right. One flash for yes. Are you a man? Yeah, flicker a little bit. I mean, I wasn't looking at it, I just like the, thought to see it in the corner of my eye. Are you a woman? Did you used to live here? Mm-hmm. That flickered. Just... Yes. There's like a light step. 
right back there. Right back there. there it was again. There you go. Did you die here? We're going to wrap up our investigation here at the June Tolliver House in Big Stone Gap, Virginia. We're going to go home and go over all the evidence and see what we can find. Hopefully we found something good for you. June Tolliver and the John Fox Jr. Museums are located in Big Stone Gap, Virginia, where they're open for tour. You can also check out their websites online, or you can go through our uh, Facebook and link up there. Uh, it's a very interesting history in our communities, and there's a lot that we didn't know. And we've lived here all of our lives. So you guys go down and support these these guys are wonderful. Um, you get a tour. Um, they are nonprofit, and all proceeds go into the museums. Hey, folks, we went over all evidence from the June Tolliver House in Big Stone Gap, Virginia. We had a lot of stuff going on. We got a couple good EVPs. Uh, we had the flashlight turning on and off for us. Yeah, definitely. And in the basement, we had a lot of stuff going on. And I uh, like to let you guys know, not every case we go on, we have activity. And them are some of the most active, as far as evidence cases that we have, to, to by far. Yeah, they're very active. Uh, the motion detector, we had a motion detector set up. It went off on us. Uh, Josh, he picked up on a lot of stuff too. Definitely, um, he um, was actually sick. <laughs> Them to that weekend that we went along, so he was kind of feeling not so up to his uh, abilities, but he still comes through for us, and he's an investigator before he's a, a psychic any day compared to us. So, um, like during the bait, like in the basement, we had a lot of stuff going on down there while me and Amanda and Gary and Josh were sitting down there, and we have EVPs for you guys. Mostly, I don't think we got any photo evidence, but we did get some video evidence and EVP evidence. So you guys enjoy, and we hope you enjoyed this episode of Black Mountain Paranormal Society. See you next time, folks.